I'm sorry to keep you waiting. So I know 100% and without doubt, I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but my happy marriage, I love this show. It's, it's one of those things that I completely understand. This is not for everybody and not everybody as like a holistic anime community will vibe with this anime and that's completely okay. But I get overly, overly excited and overjoyed when I find an anime that I just, it just completely resonates with me as a anime viewer. I'm very, I watch a lot of shows and I am uh, very p particular about what I really like and what I really don't like. And although I do watch a lot of junk food anime uh, for the most part, they all have something endearing that I really genuinely like, whether it's the writing, whether it's the world, whether it's a specific character or characters, whether it's just a premise that I want to see realized, whatever it is, they all have something very specific that I really resonate with. And in this specific show here, right, like you just have a character who just had a horrific, horrific child experience, like childhood experience and has basically been thrown away and cast aside so much so that even her dad, like her legit biological father, literally said this episode that he doesn't care if she lives or she dies. He doesn't care what potential she holds or anything. He's just like, I needed to get this thing out of my life. And it's it's crazy to think about that. But, you know, in the context of the time period that this specific show took place too, there there was a lot of um backing and and weight in somebody's family. And you put that even further into the context of this world where there's fantastical elements, you know, shikigami and and people with spiritual powers and and it's a little fantastical. And you put it in the context of that and you know some having power, some don't, some have really good powers or really, you know, high level great powers, some don't. So it it accentuates the need for that, you know, breeding and familial ties even further. And I just think that that is just so interesting to me. And in this episode, we saw a few different things, you know, again, is we, you know, we see basically love being formed kind of like out of pity and, and, and curiosity in a sense, because this girl, Mio, you know, has come to the kudos and uh, even his head maid or maid or whatever was like, yo, this is, she's different than anybody else who's ever come here before. All the other girls probably came as they stated in the earlier episodes, they either came for status or money or family ties or obligation. But she's different. She just kind of came to survive and live and uh, get away to something a little bit better, even if it meant, uh, you know, still being kind of like a maid and, and things like that. Like even if it, if it meant still not living the quote unquote good life, but in comparison to where she came from, it's like a, a world apart to so much so that even herself this episode had to tell us the viewers that like she has to hold on to with, with everything that she has even if it might come crumbling later because this is it for her kind of thing and you just you feel all these emotions bubbling up within you and then you it resonates even further with you you know uh when you see the the main character or i guess you know kudo uh you know having those same kind of feelings as you know he, he has this sense of i need to take care of her and he has his mate who's acknowledging her. And, uh, you know, he can clearly see the way she acts. Uh, and he can clearly see kind of the way that she's been mistreated. Uh, he can cl clearly see her attitude. Um, you know, it's something that, you know, it kind of, if it's, it's innate in like in our, in our, in our creature instincts in a sense that you kind of want to like care for and take care of and nurture. And he does so as he takes her out shopping and he tries to, Get her to open up, which she did a lot. And again, in the context of her character, she opened up probably like a lot to him. Uh, but in the reality, it was very little. But for her, it's a huge deal. And he took her out and he, you know, he got a bunch of, you know, kimonos ordered for her. He brought her a new uh, comb, which even even he thinks is not enough but for her it's like that's the world you know especially when she just she had a comb that she's been using that was her 
uh, late mother's comb uh, that's broken and battered. And, you know, it's like it's all these things that just make you go like, oh, my gosh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Then we find out that, you know, the um, that Mia's old family is or not Mia's family, but the, the family she was supposed to marry into, which also seems like vindictive pieces of crap as well. Uh, that they're now going to pursue the kudos to try and steal Mio back from them because they just simply want her bloodline and the potential to produce an heir uh, and, and stuff like that. And now he's pissed at he's pissed at the family that she came from by mistreating her and the way that they were ter- towards her. He's pissed and they're going to be pissed at people trying to take her away. Uh, and he's he's just he's just angry at who could do something to now who's gonna be his woman kind of thing that you know even the kimono lady was like you need to hold on to her she's like a precious gem kind of thing and like it's just so cool uh, and it's such an interesting and engaging story that I can't wait to see what happens next the only thing that I could think that could take this up like a level is if maybe she's just a late bloomer because of his her mistreatment. Maybe she does awaken to some kind of spiritual power uh, later on. I think if that happens, I think that would be so cool. And that'd be a big F you to her past family as well. So hopefully I can't I can't wait to see what happens next. But this episode, fire, fantastic. Really enjoyed this episode. Can't wait to see what comes next. Love that it's on this is on Netflix too, because that cast a wide net for audiences uh, to see this on their homepage or splash page. Uh, and hopefully it's gained a lot of viewership because it's really, really good. So really enjoying it. But let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.